Welcome to We Dig, the show where we talk about music, beer, and other life goodness. My name is Laird, this is Colin, and here's what we dig. Today's beverage is Sunlight Park, Saison, by Left Field Brewery, a Toronto-based brewery. This beer is brewed using honey malt, malted wheat, and two kilos of grapefruit zest. Bricks! Ooh, that's beer. That is summer crisp. You can really taste the two kilos of grapefruit. Sunlight Park Saison, designed to be sipped, not chugged. Ideal for patios, both front and back. Kitchen parties where only people close to the family have come by, not including weird uncles. Chugging this beer would be a disrespect to you and the beer. My music dig for the week is the Blank Face LP by Schoolboy Q. Hard beats, perfect penmanship, Schoolboy Q's fourth LP ends up being his most mature. It is absolutely not kid friendly unless all your kids are little baby gangsters. It is not fitting to play at your grandmother's picnic unless your grandmother keeps it thorough to the grain. If your grandma's got a 67 Impala with, the, with that gripped up grain, then this is the album for her. If she has a 97 Saturn, not so much. The ideal setting for this album is riding around, gripping grain, rolling around on Vogue's, ditching the day with your dogs, calling in sick to work, the middle part of the barbecue, like not the early part where they're probably playing like old school hip hop, and not the late part where you're probably doing some like cool down electronic stuff, like the middle part where everyone's had a bit too much to drink, and they're like a little bit too hype, you know? Like this will really take it up to that upper echelon. Schoolboy's follow up to Oxymoron, his most commercially successful album, uh, which finally brings back some of the darkness and complexity of his second LP, Half in Contradictions. I give it four and a half part of the flame that's blue and orange at the same time, flamigos out of six. My music dig of the day is a band called Whitney. Their album is called Light Upon the Lake. The type of music that they have is a American indie rock. Uh, it makes you think of the sunset right in, on a cottage deck, you're holding a drink, a beer, a wine, and you're just kind of enjoying that sunset. It is child friendly, so you can blast that on your cottage lake, your back patio, your house, your balcony, wherever. What I really enjoy about the album is that it's uh, very acoustically driven. There's acoustic harmonies, there's singing in it, and uh, samplers out there, you might just be able to sample some guitar licks off this album. Four to five flames. Now for the old school diamond of the day. My diamond of the day is this watermelon ice cream. It's watermelon ice cream that has chocolate chips in it. It doesn't sound like it would work, but you're wrong. You ever wake up in the morning and you don't feel like shaving or interacting with your family or really doing anything at all? Eat watermelon ice cream. Like adobo spice, like a Spanish spice that you put on, put on eggs. I can't even eat eggs without that stuff. That's what this ice cream is in the context of this store. If you see anything in the store that you like and you want to order it, hit up the email down below. You should probably go into the store to get the ice cream, because uh, it might be kind of challenging to ship that to you. And now for a question as old as time. Phil Collins or Peter Gabriel? One sec. Same time. One, two, three. Peter Phil Gabriel. Collins. Opening arguments. I don't need to say anything. I mean, I think this one is pretty cut and dry. Let's be real here. Uh, the reality is, you know, both great musicians. Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel. But the reality is, In the Air Tonight is one of the single greatest pop songs of the last 25, 30, 100, 700 years. On top of that, it spurned this, this rumor that the song was written about a man that Phil Collins couldn't save from dying. And even though the story was a lie, it became so ubiquitous that there ended up being a reference to it in the Eminem song, Stan, that then further 
put forth the rumor. Phil Collins then had to come out again and remind people that no, he in fact did not see a man dying and failed to save him. I mean, that's a legend. Phil Collins, legend. Philly Cheese Collins, Philium, legend. Coco Philium, legendary Philly cheesesteak sandwich, Colin. Who do you choose? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for joining us for this episode of We Dig. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you would like to share it with other friends that love life, hit the share button. From Old School in East York, I'm Laird. I'm Colin. And we'll see you next time. Malted wheat, honey malt, and two kilos of grapefruit zest. You can really taste the two kilos of grapefruit. Found in every... <laughs> Opening arguments. Oh, you. Oh, this is so good. Oh. It is fitting to play at your grandmother's. Phil Collins. Legend.